Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another driveway installation video with GC and the PT. But anyway, you're probably thinking what we're doing today, you've probably already seen the title. Even as it stands right now, while I film the intro, I'm still a little bit unsure as to what I'm actually going to be doing today. Whether it is the new Pro Ram Air induction kit, whether it is Lewis Gilbert's RS ECU holder from RST Fabrications, or whether I should be doing this double din install because it's sick, it does Netflix, it does YouTube, and my Pioneer DA120 doesn't. So, while I make the decision as to which one I'm gonna to do today, while I get involved and try and prep things for the next clip you're gonna be looking at, I'm gonna give you guys the intro and I'll join you guys very shortly. As always, thank you very much for the support. We'll see you guys in the next clip. Jason the PT, roll the intro. Peace. Now guys, I did decide to stick to the original plan. This Group A Ram Air induction kit right here, as epic as it is, I am gonna be taking it out, putting it up for sale, and installing the one we've got in the box right here. But I'm gonna turn the car on for now, and then give you guys just a couple of reds so you can hear what this sounds like, so that in the video later on, you've got something to compare it to. All right, so give me two secs, so we start the car up, it is cold, and we'll give it some reds. Quiet guys, got the neighbours nearby. So let's get prepping, let's take this thing apart and see how epic the new one is. We're gonna have to start by taking off the cone, so let's get that done first. Just loosen up the Jubilee clip. That should be sufficient. Cone just pops out. Right guys, in case you're wondering, this is the ram air that I've taken off. Alright. It's in perfect condition. Well, aside to that, that will uh that'll probably come out anyway. I'll give it a good wash, but yeah, this one's up for sale, now the new one's going in. Now with the new one, it comes in these lovely little boxes, in my particular situation, I'll show you what I've got. So guys, this is the new Pro Ram Air, this is the cone I'm going to be installing, as you can see. And then obviously we have this as well, so to get that on, we'll get this Jubilee clip loosened up here. This will then slide in, and it should just plug in the same way that my old one did. So, let's get moving. Right, there we have it. All ready to go. Plug and play, should be that simple. Let's take a look. This is exactly why I wanted to do the ECU holder in one video with the Pro Ram Air. Okay, so that's the Pro Ram Air fitted and installed. It was that simple. Now, as nice as it looks in the engine bay, you're probably thinking, well, what the hell does it sound like? So let's get the engine bay turned on, see if it makes any difference. Right guys, that is the Pro Ram Air induction kit installed. Now I do actually think it looks pretty cool. It's got a much different look. Now if I just grab the old one and try and compare it, I know you've already seen, but it goes from a foam texture, which is somewhat faded, still looks good, but to this, this just looks absolute pure sauce. So, you know, I might as well turn on the engine, give it a few revs, we'll see how the neighbors cope, but all the same, I'll uh, try my best. Let's get some turbo noises and see if it made any difference. And if I can't quite get some turbo chatter from having installed this, over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be putting a new spring into the reset valve, failing that, new actuator, and uh, should be a bit naughty. But yeah, let's turn the car on and uh, see what happens. Right. 
try guys I did do my best without trying to piss off all the neighbors there is a dog next door that's probably doing the same kind of job now next on the list of jobs is to get the battery cover off which is one of my least favorite things to do fucking hate this thing right we do need to disconnect the battery we're gonna have to do that so we can mess with the ECU holder obviously doing anything like this you've got the starter motor right below so you just don't want to screw anything up it makes complete sense just to do this properly so once the battery's disconnected we can also look at electrical taping some wires obviously in that instance we can look at prepping them and just making sure that they are safe for future reference I don't want to have any shortages I don't want to have any water damage or anything so I'm gonna get all of that fixed while it's open while it's all taken off so let's get the battery disconnected and we'll go from there all right guys we have some good news Luke show me your face Guys, his face is not as swollen anymore. You're gonna come and say hello. I'm slim again now. <laughs> now you're getting there. Getting you're there. Getting there. Give it two more days, and I reckon the swelling will go down. Up a little bit on this side, but someone commented yesterday something. Oh, Luke's been piling on the pounds, yeah, not snorting like, the coke every, in the weekend. Everyone think, even in my videos, so I had about three comments saying Luke's been putting on a pound. Your face is looking podgy. So like, just watch the end of the video. I explain what's going on. And then you'll know he's infected. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna take off the battery, disconnect it as you would, and then we can look at getting into the ECU, which is just down here. Whack it straight over that. Just cover up the where it actually connects to, and then wherever else it landed, really matter. Right, guys. To actually get the ECU out of the Ram Air ECU holder, we're going to need this tiny little Allen key right here. Now, I've not done this before. You know what I'm like. I'm honest about this kind of thing. So, let's see how easy this thing is to take apart. There we go. So the front panel comes off like so. Just gonna put that one to the side. Put that off. Oh. Sorry, I'll grab it. Now, guys, I am actually taking out the induction kit, ironically, despite having um, installed it this morning. One. Put that aside temporarily. I don't think you're getting that one now. That one in your, in your fan, I think. Yeah, dude. Why would you spin it round when I could have got it with some tweezers? Because it just dropped to the bottom now. Right guys, this is the new ECU holder right here. This has come from Lewis Gilbert as well, the same as the pipe from yesterday. But it's in uh, stainless steel. I think it's one of the most expensive ones, but it is absolutely stunning. So, I suppose it's getting it inside and getting it fitted and getting it installed. As you can see, I actually have three connections now rather than just the two that I had before. So that's gonna be cool. Helps out on the old OCD. Okay, so to get inside this, we're going to take a different Allen key and we're going to take off the front. Right, so moment of truth, it should come straight off so the ECU can go straight into here. Right, happy days. Let's get the ECU plugged in, and then we can go from there. One, two, three, four. Um. One. Two. So, could you find a little tool to tighten those things up? I call it. No. BMW. Yeah. Which one? The other ones, yeah. Is there a quick way of doing this? Be patient, George. No, you're in charge of getting that bolt. The bolt. The one that fell underneath. Into the radiator.
when you drop things down the engine bit, it's so annoying. There's none on that side, and there's one on that side. Luke, can you get that side off? Sure. Yeah, man. That just a bolt over there. Locating it in the right way. Um, that's because that's not gone in. Now you should be able to get those bolts that we had before, put the washer on the back of them, and then attach it in. With uh, with my older one, it doesn't have the bolt options, but it still looks sick though. Got to protect that ECU. No point having a tune if your ECU's a mess. Oh yeah, guys, you watched a bugger. We watched a movie last night called um, The Mystery of Cell Number 7. An awesome movie, guys. I'd recommend checking that out on Netflix if you get a chance. Looks like we've got it. Bye, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, 18, 20 degrees. Trying to tighten it up. You are literally special on another level. Call yourself an automotive fucking. Right, tighten that one up first. That is fucking. Thing. It's not going to go on, it's on the right side. It's not the right size. Right guys, there we have it. The ECU holder is installed. It looks so sick. Obviously what I'm going to do once we start it up and checked it all works, is we're going to give it a good polish, put the battery cover back on, try and cable tie it because it's crap. The design between the battery cover um, alongside having the uh, strap brace is a pain in the ass. But either way, let's get the car put back together. We'll give this a good polish and for now we'll turn it back on and hope that it all works. So look, do you want to give it the... Uh Guys, let's give it a rev and see what it sounds like because Luke hasn't heard it yet, have you? Looks like it's suitably noisy. Right, let's put you on the time lapse, let's get the car put back together and then we can start polishing all the new bits. Right guys, now we've got the ECU holder in, the Pro Rammer induction kit. We obviously installed the turbo baffle pipe thing that goes to the crossover yesterday. Now I'm gonna give everything a polish while Luke does that weird thing you do when you try on your shoes. He's just had his Balenciagas turn up, so he's walking around in them. Luke, show me the aerodynamics. Your shoes have aero on there, don't they? They actually do, they've got canards. Where are they, I can't see. There we go. They've got canards on them. <laughs> Luke's got canards yeah, on his shoes. Yeah, I feel like 20 foot taller. Yeah, I've actually opened the window in the car just to let the heat out as it's really, really warm today. Looking at getting up to 21 degrees, 22 degrees, so it's going to be nice. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to get all the polishing done. But in the meantime, I do actually want to talk to you about something. Now, while Luke fiddles with his laces on his Balenciagas, I'm going to explain why I've got a strut brace sat on the hedge. Now, the company that gave me the one that's sat in there now, it's perfect condition. I absolutely love it. But unfortunately, there was a little hole missing from one side. 
Now I've re-drilled it, hence it fits, it's all perfect condition, but now I've got a spare one, I'm gonna to need to know what to do with it. So if anyone wants a strut brace, powder coated in red for their Mark II Focus ST, slide into my DMs on Instagram, GCM the PT on Instagram, it's not hard to find. And then we can discuss potentially getting this one given to someone. I've got a lot of polishing to do off camera. I've got a couple more bits that we might get to shortly, but all the same guys, as always, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you do actually like the ST225 ECU holder from Lewis Gilbert, again, as in all the videos, all the information you need will be in the description section below. So go blow up his DMs and obviously get one for yourself. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he sells crossover pipes too. Also the inlet to uh, crossover thingy mabob pipe that we spoke about yesterday. So if all those things will be something that you're after for your Mark II Focus ST or RS, then get in touch with him. He'll be happy to sort you out and his customer service is fantastic. So go and get that done. So Lewis, thank you very much for this. It looks absolutely sick. Super excited to go for a drive and test the induction kit at some point soon as well. I'm polishing my engine bay. I won't get the owner in it, but this, I don't know why this dog just hates me so much. I was trying to be nice to it once. He just trying to like chew my elbow off. I love Frenchies, but this dog's got it in for me, man. Now, rule number one when winning over a dog that doesn't like you is Daryl Lee. Come here. Come here. Oi, here. Here. Here we go. Oh, yes. We won't be enemies for long. Why are you going for my foot? <laughs> yeah, weirdo. I haven't got any door dare Lee. I'm sorry. Just got a Focus ST. No more dare Lee, just a Focus ST. That's all. She's just turned up while I was polishing up the engine bay. But yeah. I know your car's pretty sweet. It's much nicer in person than it is in photos. I'm not gonna lie. You guys, like I was saying, what do you reckon? Who would win? 313 from Bevo, 450 from Bevo. But it's a pretty cool looking car. I personally wouldn't have it that color, especially with the white door shirts, but still love my ST. Nothing's changing that. What do you reckon, guys? Let me know in the comments. Would you drive that or that? I'm passenger. It's been a while. As much as I love you, Matt Lewis Motorsport, he's it, getting tucked in by the visor. Let's get these harnesses on. Honestly, I want to get my cage. I can't get my fat ass in this. I can't get. I can't get them in. Luke, help me. I need my prescription. What is wrong with you? Just go back a bit. Put your seat back. Oh. You're in an overly built ST in Balenciaga's. How do you feel? Sick. <laughs> Sick one. Alright, here we go. The sports cat's in, guys, so bear that in mind. GPS connected. Sounds fucking awesome, isn't awesome, it? Awesome, that, isn't it? <laughs> sounds good, yeah, boy. It just sounds yeah, so good. Sounds sweet. On the low, that sounds sick. No, if you like third gear, just drop like low res. What's that? That's awesome. Luke. So give them an idea as to what this feels like to drive. Because you knew when I got it, when Lee Lockwood came around to my house, it was horrible. Mate, it's got so much torque steering needs in there. It's fucking hell. Yeah, that no, feels good. It's awesome. It's really responsive. Boost comes in like. I never had mine like mapped to the extent when I'm up XST, obviously. I never had mine mapped to the extent of what George's is that now. And it's just a completely different car. Like, What's that? How sick is that? Tesco's is, this is ridiculous. Oh, Seagull has like killed itself. <laughs> Jesus. Right, guys, I have an idea, purely based on all the comments I've been getting on my Instagram, run through a couple of things as to where I got bits from so that you guys know, all right? Boss kit and steering wheel. Momo, it's a Gotham design, that's from eBay. We've got the center console stuff, all the carbon dip stuff, that's from MK Customs. 
we have got the gear shifter here that's from mtech engineering i'm not actually a big fan of this i love the design but i don't like how slim it is so i want to get my chunky one back no sexual innuendo intended um obviously the bucket seats i got them second hand harnesses just came off the website themselves jp cages that's for the rear strut and then you've got road angel for the speed camera detector there and the dash cam all right the ford performance sunstrip that came off eBay as well. You can custom them based on the colors that you want. And we've got loads of other bits that I can't even be bothered to go into. But anyway, we need to go and get some food in Tesco's and we'll join you guys when we get back home and just see if everything is all good. Because every time I install a mod, the first thing I do is open up the engine bay and check everything's everything's uh, tight enough. But all the same, we're going to get this done and we'll see you guys then. See you in a bit, guys. Honestly, it won't go over how good that looks. Whee. What's up, guys? So we just got back from Tesco's. I am just so impressed. It just sounds so wicked that you would have seen from the clips earlier. I don't really want to give it a rev outside, but yeah, Luke, Luke loves it too. It says it's a very addictive sound compared to the other one before. You can hear a lot more turbo down here, but then over there as well, you can hear a lot more induction. So I really would recommend the Pro Ram Air. Now, regarding the actual ECU holders, I think it looks so sick as you've seen in the video. So if you want to get any of those products that you've seen in the videos of recent in general, just look in the description section below. You'll find all the details needed to get hold of Lewis Gilbert. Obviously, guys, you could consider getting yourself the ECU holder that's linked in the description section below, possibly even the crossover or the pipe that goes from the turbo to the crossover or any of the induction kits. So if anything like that appeals to you and you'd like to add it to your collection, like I said, all the info is down there. Obviously, Luke's channel is going to be linked in the description section below. As always, because he's in isolation with me, it does help having him here. And we've got all the Tesco shopping in the back. So we're going to go and get that inside. End today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one. But as always, thank you very much. Smash a like on the video below. Let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to Luke if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one. GC and the PT roll the outro. Peace. Peace.